So it gives me enormous pleasure to introduce you to Linda Hurd, who, with her husband, is a producer of, of Angus. She's involved in Landcare, being on the Merton Landcare Group and currently Secretary of the Upper Goulburn Landcare Network. She's um, a corporate and community member on Goulburn Valley Water and has been a Mansfield Shire Environment Committee member, still has been. And, but her real interest and passion is publishing. So she and her husband are the mothers and fathers of this fantastic publication. So we're really looking forward to Linda's take on this whole topic and a bit of your story. So please make her welcome. Uh, hello, everybody. Thank you for having me. I'm terribly nervous. I'm really good in print, but I'm not really good <laughs> standing up. Um, we were asked to talk on um, the hows, the what, why, and who, and so forth. Um, what we, we came up here 10 years ago, loved, loved the area, fell in love with it, we live in Merton, and started farming. I had to learn quickly, we did whole farm planning, uh, we did beef check, we started to get to know people. I've made a lot, a lot of scones, and sitting around tables eating scones, cups of tea, and talking to people, listening to farmers, listening to fences, listening to... DSE, listening to the CMA, to people advising us on the best way to go about it. So much information, enormous amounts of information that you have to take in and making the decision as to which way to go. As it grew and then we became the farmers, loved all that and everything else, but what we realised was people weren't talking to each other. There were still a big gaps where um, people in Mansfield would drive all the way to Melbourne and buy to achieve something or to find out something or to buy something, whereas they could find out that information, buy that item, learn something in Alex, which is only a quarter of the distance. Um, so we decided that we had a publishing background in Melbourne, and so we thought, let's tell everyone. So we produced the magazine. Sorry, I forgot I had this up. Um, this, we called it North by Northeast because we're working predominantly in Murrindindi, Mansfield and Strathbogie. We wanted to keep it as close as possible, not extend it too far. And we did the magazine. The magazine, or well, we do the magazine because of the people. We love the people. We love the area. There's so much. There's a wealth. I mean, in this room alone, there's just enormous energy, enormous knowledge. And yet it's all caught up. And as Julian was talking about, the, the dissemination of that information. How do you do it? How don't you frighten people? How do you make people feel comfortable to talk, to learn, and to ask questions? So that's what we started doing, and it looks glossy, and we did that deliberately. The size, the gloss, we discussed it for six months. My husband and I argued over how we could finance it. <laughs> it's a big, big argument. Um, and what we, what we were wanting to achieve, what was our market? It's even such things as um, the advertising, these sorts of things. Advertising, yes, it gives us an income to help us produce the magazine. But it's telling people about the businesses that are out there. It's telling them about um, the Lawsons with their wonderful work that they do, with everyone, that they, the DPIs and what they're doing, the programs. And we have wanted to do almost like a soft sell. We didn't want to start hitting people too hard. We wanted them to start to feel comfortable to read it. And I must admit, I was really pleased the other day. I was taking photographs of sausage rolls um, at the Giddy Goat, which is what I do. And uh, a gentleman was standing there, and he was a big, trucky, local farming, you know, <laughs> type guy. And he um, learned my name was Linda. And he said, you're not Linda. You know, that, that, that person that takes them photos for them that, ma that magazine. I said, yes, I am. He said, love it. He said, I read it every month. Don't buy it, but I read it every <laughs> month. <laughs> So, and I thought, yes, that was wonderful. So that mean I, meant I had, we were reaching the people, we were reaching a, a diverse group of people because we, it is so diverse, the area. It is so wonderful, the area. And we wanted to celebrate. We want to celebrate that area and to keep it sustainable, to keep the area going. Talking about the people, we have a big um, influence. We, big, we talk a lot about people. This is um, the gorgeous Bridget, who is in Ye, based in Ye in Marindindi who works with hospitals, who works with uh, programs um, within the community helping different groups and so forth. They're the people that communicate. They're the people that are on the ground. They're the people that need to get the messages out, and so that's why we would like to promote those sorts of people. These people like Jack Fruin, he's um, a gentleman who lives in Violet Town. He's a farmer of olives, but he's true lovers. He grows trees, and he 
all those plantations along the highway. He plants them. I mean, who does those sorts of things? His knowledge of trees, his knowledge of indigenous situations, his involvement in the community, these sorts of things. By doing these sorts of stories, getting that information out there, people ring him and they say, I need to do this or I need to do that or they see him selling his olive, his oil at the local market and they identify with him then and so they buy the oil. So once again we start, as we were talking about before, the importance of local produce producing sustainability, people buying it. It might seem to cost two dollars extra or something a kilo. It's two dollars. How much are you going to stay to, to, to drive long distances or just buy supermarket stuff that's been bought hugely? Maybe eat a little bit less, pay a little bit more. I mean, is that a feasible scenario. Not for everybody, but I mean, it's something to think about. Um, what else have I got? I can't remember. Oh, and then I'm talking about advertising once again. Um, to get, it's fabulous, we've got internet, we have computers, we've got tweets, we've got all that, but not everyone does that. Not everyone's comfortable, not everyone's in a position to sit down and do all those sorts of things. So that's why the magazine, we like to use the magazine as something that it is, it's slow, as in slow food, this is a slow read. So we like to, we see it as important to get this information to make the um, people wanting to buy it also enjoy the ads. I mean, it sounds really weird, but that means that the advertisers benefit. So it's really important. We work on a content of 60% editorial, 40% advertising, and we never go over that. In fact, we go under. It's always important for us to have something for people to read and to be informative. Then they learn. One more second. Thank you. <laughs> so if by them um, enjoying the magazine and reading the editorial, they enjoy the, the ads, so therefore the businesses improve, they're happier, and that's how we operate. This was our original office. This is our farm. And that's where I used to sit in the window. And just on the fence there was my um, finished weaning paddock. I used to have a hundred little faces looking at me saying, feed me while I'm typing away. <laughs> we now have an office in Merton, uh, sorry, in Mansfield. We only, we only employ local people, but we do print it down in Melbourne. Uh, we distribute it ourselves, we take photographs, we write it, we um, design it. Um, it's amazing what you can do with a computer these days and a digital camera. Um, and we always, we really appreciate, we welcome input from people, writing articles, for t um, supplying us with information. We relish that. We, we really enjoy it very much. Is that finished now? It's done. Oh, sorry. So, quick conversation or questions from the floor? Oh, well, we, we've actually been asked by a few different shire er, or people in shires, are we going to expand out? We do sort of dabble in different areas. It's a tricky scenario. If anything, what we would do is another magazine of a similar ilk in that area because you can destroy the, the integrity of what we are trying to do. This is for the people in this region. You start to expand it too much. It, but there is that overlapping, which was the other thing, was breaking down the barriers this whole feeling of, you know, this is Mitchell Shah and this is Marandini. It's not, it's, we're a region. Oh, um, how did we get started with marketing and so forth? What tools did we use? We used ourselves. We felt the best way of marketing, the best way of putting forward what we wanted. Um, to, you, you're talking in relation directly to the magazine, is that? Um, well, I'm talking about networking or locally. Oh, locally. Be involved. Go join the CFA. Um, join the land care. Go to meetings, go to the horse, you know, the local horse race. When they have a fate, go to things. Don't stay closeted. I mean, as glorious as your property is and you love it and everything else, go out there. Actually, go to the markets. Go and shop at the markets. Don't think about oh, shopping a daily. Think every Saturday there's a different market in the area and they're fun. Go and you meet people, the stallholders you get to know, and you're chatting. Well. Um, yes, yeah, so you chat to the storeholders and they hold you pieces of special meat for you. You know, these sorts of things, all that special broccoli, all those. Talk to the storekeepers, strip shop. Don't go to the supermarkets, go to the strips. Talk to the people in the shops. They know so much. It's fantastic. You know, be out there, just spread yourself. You don't have to spread yourself thin, you just have to be out there and you don't have to invite those people totally into your lives. You can have, you can socialise and so forth without them actually living with you. You can enjoy their company. All these people have all got something wonderful to say. Just but you're doing something else too. You didn't just talk to people, you got involved. Like you've become all yes. these organisations. Talk 
Oh, well, and, and become involved. You don't physically have to become secretary all the time of everything, trust me. Um, but you can actually join and just participate. If they're having a land care thing, land care is brilliant. And it's not just tree-hugging greenies. There's a whole range of different things that they are all involved in. Become involved in it. They're having a day. Go and plant a tree. Go and pick up some rubbish. And just do the sausages on the barbie, whether they're real ones or artificial ones. Um, <laughs> separate plates. They like separate plates to cook on. Um, but you know, just be involved. But you don't, as I said, you don't have to be totally 100%. You don't have to give your whole soul. Just be there. That's all. Thank you. Sorry. No, Thank no, you. great. Be involved. <laughs> <laughs>